Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here. In today's video, we are going over the price of Bitcoin. I have been so distracted. I have not been able to look at, to, uh, look at the charts very much lately because I've been out car shopping and oh my gosh, people, buying a car in Puerto Rico is a nightmare. So um, I'm on day four and I'm hoping to bring home the car today. But let me tell you what, it has been quite a ride, no pun intended. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the price of Bitcoin. It's kind of nice, you know, when I'm like super distracted, and I have to come back to the charts and I had to have like just a fresh look at what's happening. So let's get into it. Starting here on the daily chart. So this green here was the top, this green seven. And so we have had six days of a pullback. I do believe that we could have already had a short term bottom, but there is a possibility that Bitcoin can revisit this uh, support level. But honestly, I think Bitcoin is looking primed to just take off um, or at least show quite a bit of strength. Yesterday, we saw a bottom of the day uh, of 55,400, excuse me, that was the seventh. I get it, that was yesterday. So, so far the low of today, the eighth has been uh, 55,700. So Bitcoin has recovered $2,000 from the low of today, which is looking quite good. Let's go and take a look at the 12 hour chart. The 12 hour chart made a lower low which is slightly concerning. What we're gonna wanna see here after this pullback, after, you know, we might see just this four candle pullback and then, you know, more room to the upside. Bitcoin has to break like 60, just over $60,000 to make a higher high. Um, if we make a lower low here, I would say that's slightly concerning. But uh, let's go and take a look at the four hour. Four hour trending downwards, but we're seeing a little bit of strength here as, uh, we saw this green three go above the green two. Let me go ahead and back up here to the 12 hour chart. Yeah, so another good sign of strength would be seeing this green moving average cross above the red. You can see it's not really happening anytime soon on the 12, but we're getting kind of close here on the, um, the four hour chart. Let's go ahead and take a look at the one hour. One hour is looking strong. You know, ultimately we, are, we saw a high here, a low and a higher high with this green two going above the green one. Bitcoin is showing strength and, you know, I feel like Bitcoin loves to do big things on the weekends because it's not nearly as uh, correlated as much with the stock market. So we are getting close, guys. We're getting close. 30 minute. Beautiful, right? Got like a high here uh, or we got the low, a high, lower high, higher high, lower, uh, higher low, higher high. Uh, yeah, it still was here. This was a higher low and then a higher high. So I think we could see maybe Bitcoin go up to like mid 58s and then, you know, pull back a little bit and then just continue through the weekend. The 30 minute is looking really, really nice. So there's been, you know, obviously times over the past couple weeks that I thought Bitcoin was primed to break out. This is another one of those times it doesn't necessarily ha have to happen, but it's looking quite good. The 15 minute chart, Bitcoin uh, hit a top up here, a green nine. I could definitely see some pullback here. Maybe hit this moving average of like 57.4, or maybe this one down here of like 57.3, and then continue to the upside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the five minute. Five minute, um, let's see. Yeah, five minute is looking really nice. You're gonna see, I think, you know, more, more room to the upside. I mean, Bitcoin is looking really, really good in my opinion. So Bitcoin's up 3.09% on the day. Ethereum, 4.02% on the day. Um, Ethereum is showing strength against Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and look at the one hour chart of these two. And you could see here that uh, lots of higher lows on this pair. And Ethereum is looking quite strong against Bitcoin, as you guys know. Um, the price in EXO is absolutely important to me because of the platinum status that I'm trying to maintain. So NEXO 2.78 today, up 3%. So a lot of coins up, you know, between 3 and 4%. And then we have some big winners like BNB up 10%, $415. It feels like BNB was literally $18 just a few months back. Um, I had a little bit, sold all of it, but you know, that's just how it goes. EOS up 6.31%. I have a little bit of that. Um, NEO have a little bit of that as well, up uh, almost 2% to nearly $61. Oh, we missed DOT over here. DOT up 2.6%. Uh, and DOT like made a run for it when I was sleeping the other day and hit like, what was it? Like 50, almost $50. Um, 
almost $50. So Dot and uh, Link doing quite well. Also, I recently got an ICX. It's now at 245, but it hit a high up here at like 320. So um, seeing some pullback after that. I am now in the red on my mana position. I started buying mana at like 107. It's down 98. Um, trending downwards here on the four hour. Let's see what the one hour is doing. Oh, you know what? Mana is uh, has changed momentum. Momentum change here, making some higher highs and some higher lows. XRP. You know, I have been dragging XRP for quite a while, but you know what? If you are holding XRP, you are doing extremely, extremely well over the past week. Let's go to like look to see what it's technically done. So like literally on April 5th, it was trading, uh, or let's see, let's go ahead and take a look at a few days, like down over here, right? This was April 4th and a low of the day is 59 cents and now 95 cents. Your XRP has literally doubled in the past like four days. So congratulations to all the XRP holders. SNX 19.80 today. And you can see here that Nexo is down against Bitcoin slightly down 0.39%. So one thing to I always kind of pay attention to is looking to see what Bitcoin does at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Eastern time, and that is because it's obviously when the stock market opens and there is some correlation, right? So let's see here, uh, 9.30 on April um, 8th, which is this candle right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So right here, you could see that Bitcoin has had some action since, and that's because when we go look at the majors, let's go and look at the, like SPY, you know, SPY is also up today and you could actually see that like, it has some correlation between the structure of the Bitcoin chart when you compare it to the SPY chart. So let's go ahead and take a look at Tesla. Tesla at 685 today. Tesla um, had a bit of a run up, what was it, yesterday? I think it hit over 700. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. Uh, this was yesterday, right? Uh, well, actually, April 5th, 707. Uh, where are we at here? Today is the 8th. Let's look at the 7th. So yeah, Tesla was trading in the high 700s. It pulled back uh, towards the end of the day yesterday. And you can see that electric vehicle related stocks are doing quite well today. I always take a look at marijuana star stocks. Um, Tilray under $20 down 2% today. Marijuana is getting slightly crushed, which is interesting because typically there's a lot of correlation between crypto and marijuana, but you know what? Crypto is a big winner today. My penny stocks, yeah, not doing so hot today. They've been uh, getting a little bit crushed, but since I bought so low, I'm thankfully still in the green. So let's go in and really quickly take a look back at Bitcoin, which I think is showing a ton of strength. Like look how great this one hour chart looks like Bitcoin looks ready to go. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to get yourself some free crypto on like BlockFi and Celsius and Coinbase and Gemini, all my links are down below. That is one way for you to support my channel. That is all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.